Welcome back students. I am studying another series of lecturing on ANOVA analysis of variance. In this lecture I will outline the whole aspect of ANOVA. In my further videos I will specifically focus on one way ANOVA and two way ANOVA and I will calculate some of the problems associated with uh, both the types of ANOVA. In this lecture mainly I will focus on meaning of ANOVA types and classification assumptions and applications of ANOVA. Then let us explore more about ANOVA. What we commonly call the, that uh, analysis of variance, it is a acronomy, uh, acronomy of uh, ANOVA, analysis of variance, which is developed by the famous professor R.A. Fisher in 1920. He is a greatest statistician. His contribution is unforgettable in statistics. So ANOVA is one more contribution of R.A. Fisher. In ANOVA, the analysis of variance focuses on variability only. Whatever the type of data you take, the variability present in the data or parts of data or in the whole part of data. So variation inherent in nature in the data. And in analysis of variance means examining the variation present in data or parts of data. And if you want to tell in another meaning, Analysis of variance means to find out the causes, causes of variation in the data. What causes for presentation of data? The main reason that will be find out by analysis of variance. We are calling this as ANOVA that is analysis of variance. The reason is instead of calling ANOVA we can also call this as multi group mean analysis. But we are calling it as analysis of variance because it compares group means by analyzing comparison of variance that we estimates. Since in ANOVA we consider multiple groups and we find out multiple groups means then we also find out grand mean of it. So I mean we can call ANOVA by multi group mean analysis but we are calling it as analysis of variance. We, we, it is because of in ANOVA after finding means we will find a variance and then finally we compare group means by analyzing comparis comparison of variance that we estimates. So this is called ANOVA. In the ANOVA main intention main purpose is to find the variability present in the data. So let us see the definition of ANOVA then. According to R.A. Fisher who developed this ANOVA, analysis of variance is separation of variance ascribable to one group of causes from the variance ascribable to other group. We have to separate the variance ascribable to one group of causes from variance ascribable to other group which means we have to divide the total variability present in the data into two group. So by this technique the total variation present in the data are divided into two components of variance. One is due to assignable causes which means between the groups variability we will find the between the group variability and other one is variation due to chance causes which means within group variability. Let us see how to do that, how to divide the whole the variability present in the data into two group. Here you can see in the picture, here the picture indicates partitioning the variability in ANOVA into two group. Consider this circle is about to, uh, total variability present in the data. This variability is going to be considered into two groups. One is within group variability that means variation, variation due to chance causes and one more is between the groups variability which means variance variation one is variation is due to assignable causes due to assignable causes due to chance, chance causes. So by this way we will divide the whole variability present in the data into two groups. Then let us see where are we applica appl applying this ANOVA uh, very importantly. In the earlier days, mostly ANOVA we used for analysis and interpretation of data from field trials and laboratory experiments in agriculture and biological research. But now it is not only restricted to agriculture and biological research. 
or it is not only really restricted to field trials only yet today it constitutes one of the principal research tool of the biological scientist and used in spreading rapidly even in social sciences the physical sciences and engineering engineering and management almost mostly all in in all the fields we are using anova today because of its importance because of the data it analyzes and uh, interpret and the result it gives we are using in almost all the sector so application of anova goes mass you may all thinking why should we use this anova even we, when we have other tools so we need to question ourselves why should we use anova when we have the other things like tools uh, t test f test chi square chi square test two sample t test and many things we do have but still why should we use anova that is a important question one should ask as i have mentioned here we can also consider two group in case of two sample t test where we compared means from two independent groups but it differs when we compare with anova so the test of significance based on a t distribution is an adequate procedure only for testing the significance of difference between two population means in a situation when we have more than two population to consider at a time and want to test the means of the population are same for example five doses of drugs five doses of drugs applied to four patients each and every response or values of dependent variable of these 20 find to 420 patients are obtained now we may be interested in finding out whether effects of these five drugs these five drugs on the patients is significantly differ we want to know five pair five drugs whether differ significantly differ to four patients so then in such a cases we cannot go for t test the answer is anova here we considered five drugs into four patients so we have 20 groups of such in such situation we have to go for anova so t test failed to give a right contribution in such cases in anova is a helpful because it possesses an advantages of uh, over a two sample t test also when you go for multiple two sample t test the result in an increase of chances of committing type 1 error if you go through the multiple two sample t test there is a chances of committing type 1 error there is no multiple two sample t test but if you go through that you will commit type 1 error instead of that we have to go for anova so one more thing in addition to this uh, above said difference the analysis of variance technique solves the problem of estimating and testing to determine whether there is any, any true differences exist among treatment treatment means treatment mean among variability means and under certain condition among other respected means of problem estimation also so so anova solves the problem of estimating and testing to determine whether the existence of true difference very importantly we have to see the if there is any significant differences exist among difference means that is very important in anova then let us see the classification of anova in a broader sense so broadly we can consider we can classify anova into two types one is parametric anova and one more is non parametric anova i hope you may all be very clear very cleared about uh, what is parametric and what is non parametric if any tools run on assumption those tools come under parametric test just like parametric anova we have f test we have t test chi square test and so many testers we have which are come under parametric test and when you don't have any assumption associated with the statistical tools you are using that is called non parametric anova so we also having non parametric anova just like kruskal wallis one way anova where we completely consider ordinal data only nominal and ordinal data are considered in non parametric testers 
and you can go up to ratio scale data for parametric testers. So that is what parametric ANOVA and parametric ANOVA based on the assumption of randomness, assumption of normality and assumption of additivity. So I will stress upon what are the assumption of one way ANOVA, what are the assumption of two way ANOVA in my further videos. Then let us concentrate on parametric ANOVA because in this lecture I am purely going to consider only parametric ANOVA or simply called ANOVA. So we can see the types of uh, ANOVA that's the types of parametric ANOVA also here. Some of you may be familiar with one way ANOVA and two way ANOVA. It is not only limited to that there is uh, still more types of ANOVA in parametric testers. So firstly let us consider what, what we know that as a one way ANOVA. Whether it is one way ANOVA, two way ANOVA depend upon independent variable. So then what is one way ANOVA? If we consider only one independent variable which affects the response dependent variable which affects the response variable or dependent variable by only one independent variable which can be considered as one way ANOVA. If there is only one independent variable then we can consider this as one way ANOVA and normally we if we have two and two way ANOVA is converts to one way ANOVA in two way ANOVA if independent variable or explanatory variable are more than one if there is more than one explanatory variable that's n then it is called n way ANOVA very importantly n way n there is no limitation for n it may be 2 3 4 5 6 7 and uh, so on so if there are more than one explanatory variable then it is n way ANOVA and if there is if n is equal to 2 if it is 2 which means if there is two explanatory or independent variable under study then it is called two way classified ANOVA very simple if there is one independent variable one way ANOVA if there is two independent variable two way ANOVA and let us consider one more type of ANOVA along with one way and two way ANOVA we are also having factorial ANOVA when the experimenter wants to study the interaction effects among explanatory variables only among independent variable only then it is called factorial ANOVA. So in one way ANOVA, two way ANOVA we want to study the significant difference between explanatory variable and response variable or dependent variable but in case of factorial ANOVA the experimenter wants to know the interaction among explanatory variable itself or independent variable itself that is called what factorial ANOVA so here independent variable to independent variable interaction will be taken so that kind of ANOVA is called factorial ANOVA so here in other cases independent variable to dependent variable interaction or effects or differences we want to study so that could be some type of ANOVA if it is the case independent variable to independent variable that can be considered as factorial ANOVA so let us consider one more type of ANOVA again that's called repeated measure ANOVA in repeated measure ANOVA if the experimenter use same subject for each type of treatment that is if you use same explanatory variable for each combination of treatment then it is called repeated measure ANOVA so repeated measure ANOVA will take place when you use same sub subject for different experimental groups experimental units so then it is called repeated measure ANOVA so let us consider one more and the last type of uh, ANOVA that is actually not ANOVA uh, that is MANOVA usually I confuse ANOVA with INOVA INOVA actually it is a car whenever I see the car which is going on by the road uh, I see that I remember this is INOVA this is not INOVA this is ANOVA because I love ANOVA here we are talking about MANOVA so when MANOVA we will consider this will be used when there is more than one response variable response variable which is dependent variable 
when there is more than one response variable that can be considered as MONOVA. There is also MANCOVA that is multivariate analysis of covariance. So by this way we have completed uh, types of ANOVA. Well, if you consider only one independent variable this is one way ANOVA. If there is two independent variable this is two way ANOVA. If there is an experiment between uh, where for to know the effect interaction between independent variable to independent variable that is factorial ANOVA. If you use same subject for different experimental units this is repeated measure ANOVA. If there is more than one response variable or dependent variable then it is called multivariate analysis of variance. So I have used this study material for preparing this data and uh, lecturing this. You can also go for further study. Th thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe to my Vision Academy YouTube channel. You can also see in the description box where I have posted a video on ANOVA, calculation of ANOVA, data enter, entry and uh, analysis and interpretation of ANOVA in SPSS software. Please go through that and subscribe to my Vision Academy YouTube channel. Thank you so much.